farm bill. That's at the top of the list. I know how important it is to agriculture to get that done. But it's not the only thing that's going to make agriculture successful. We need good trade policy. You know, if you think about it, ladies and gentlemen, 95% of the world's population doesn't live here. They live in another part of the world. I just got back from a trip to Africa, uh, and in various parts of Africa, we are seeing great success. The AIDS drugs are working, some governments are stabilizing, admittedly in other parts not so good. But the one thing we see is that as incomes improve and people have more disposable income, they want to improve the diet for their family. And oftentimes, that means protein. That means Nebraska beef, Kansas beef. It means the products that we raise here so well. Good farm policy means good research at your land grant universities. And then, not only having good research, having an outstanding extension service that can take that development and bring it to the farm. Which I believe is one of the reasons why we are just better than anybody in the world when it comes to agriculture. We need good tax policy. You know that bill that was maligned at the end of the year, all the talking heads on radio, etc., talked about how awful that was. You could go to our media sites, our social media sites, and see people just hammering us over that. Do you know what that bill did in terms of the estate tax? All of a sudden, you could work a lifetime and put something together and pass it to your children without the government interfering with that because we got the exemption rates. <laughs> now, I appreciate what's going on in the world and, you know, there's all kinds of people that are going to malign what, what we do back in Washington, but that was a gigantic step in the right direction. When it came to tax policy, about 99% of Americans, 99% of Americans did not see a tax increase 